we're going to test our sign up and login flow and create an account in Outseta using the sign up pop up that we have created in our Webflow Fitnesso template. Testing is always recommended before going live with your Webflow projects. So we just want to test everything out and make sure it's all working as expected. To start, we're going to go into Stripe and we're going to copy a test card number. So we're going to click over here into documentation and we'll just search for testing in the Stripe documentation. So we'll search for testing here. And in the testing documentation, we can see that we can grab a basic test card number to test our payment workflow without having to actually spend any money or have a real transaction go through. So we can copy this number. We'll need to use a US billing address because the basic test cards billing country is set to the US but we can use any three digits for the CVC number as well as any future date for the expiration date of the test card. If you need to simulate payments from another country, you can scroll down to get international test card numbers here in the Stripe documentation. So we can copy that number and then we'll head over back to our published Fitnesso site and we're going to sign up. So here we can test this out. Let's select a plan. Let's go with the pro plan. And next we'll add some account information. So email, first name, last name, and billing address. And again, this billing address needs to be a US address. So for email, perfect. So we got account test support, awesome. And we're gonna change the postal code to I don't know, 2 and 0 because I'll remember that. Next we'll go to payment and the name on the card is the same and the card number we can paste in from Stripe. Uh, the expiration date can be any date in the future so let's say 2025. Uh, CVC can be any three numbers and we'll add in our postal code. And so now we should be able to register for the pro plan. Great. So they've sent an email to uh, account at test support and I need to click the link inside to complete the registration process. So I'll click OK. And so now I've gone into my email and I clicked the link to set a password for my account. And this was that login confirm page that we set up previously. So now I just need to set a password for my account. And once that password is set, we'll be taken back to the home page. And now you can see that we're logged in and I can access workouts and recipes. So these are the home workouts. And if I scroll down to the workout page, I should be able to access this perfect outdoor workout. And I can, because I'm on the pro plan. As well as recipes, I should be able to access the recipes. We'll go with the green smoothie. And there's our green smoothie recipe. Awesome. So from here, you can also see that if I need to access my account, I can access my account information, I can see my plan, and I can cancel at any time, I can update my billing information. There is that uh, card number that we copied in from Stripe, um, and the basic profile information for my account as well. So once logged in, that is all that we can access on our Fitnesso template. We can get to our protected content really easily, as well as our account info. So now that we've created an account and our sign up and login and protected pages are all working as expected, let's take a quick look at what the account looks like in Outseta and how to engage notifications so that you can get an email each time a new account is created. The first thing we want to do is go to CRM and accounts. And this is the account that we just created in our test workflow. 
And what we want to do is update this to be a demo. So we want to edit this so that it, the system knows in Outsetta that it is a demo. Uh, and so that it won't appear in any reports or be billed in any way. So we're just going to update that to is demo and click add. And now we have a checkbox in the is demo sections so that we know that this is a demo account and we can treat it as such moving forward. To enable notifications, we'll go to settings and notifications and we'll add a notification here. So we can add that in there. So each time a new account is created, you can be notified by email. There are many different options here. Uh, anytime a account is updated or uh, deleted or someone updates their billing information or anything like that, you can be notified uh, through this add activity notification section in Outsetta. Okay, so we'll add that notification. And then so now every time an account is created in Outsetta, we will be notified by email. And our last step is to head on over into billing and settings. And we need to update our Stripe API keys from the test keys to the live keys. For the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to update mine to those live keys, but just as a reminder, if you head into Stripe and into get your API keys here or uh, developers and API keys, right? I'm viewing this test data. I would just toggle this off and it would give me my live keys. And as a reminder, your live keys will always say live instead of test. And so if we go back into Outsetta, you'll want to update your publishable key and your secret key to your live keys and click save. And then you will be ready to go with everything live and working as expected. Congrats, you've built a subscription website with Webflow and Outsetta. Thank you.